just not gonna roll. I'll make the mistake so you don't have to. I was looking for something to make Graham for Valentine's Day, like a sweet treat, but with like a little flair to it. So I looked at this website and it was 25 TikTok recipes you should try. And one of them was Oreo sushi. And the best part about Oreo sushi is it requires two ingredients. And I was like, that is my kind of recipe. Cook time, 20 minutes, chill time, an hour. Okay, Oreo sushi is, it's kind of ridiculous to make because it's literally the Oreo just reconfigured into a sushi roll. It's the cookie part outside rolled like that in a spiral and then the icing in the middle mixed with milk. God damn it, I told him not to eat them. I said, don't eat the Oreos. I'm making something with the Oreos. I'm a sucker for an Oreo. The worst part about Oreos is always this. Like I'm always having to, maybe I'll write them a letter and say, let's be able to peel back the whole thing. On Valentine's Day, I want flowers. I think it's a fun time to get flowers and a little bit of chocolate. That's it. Valentine's Day is perfect because we just come off the holidays. There was nothing in January. And you're like, what do I have to look forward to? So I always use Valentine's Day as like the thing to look forward to. The things you should never do hungry. Cook and go to the store. If you go to the store hungry, you will buy things that you don't want to have in your kitchen and you will deviate from the list. I don't know if there are studies that show that, but those go in there. I'm not the most exact measure and I know you should be. That's exactly kind of what I was thinking was gonna happen. <laughs> that can't hurt. Perfect. Okay, so the recipe's right. Three, three's perfect. Put the cleaning wrap out. Don't get it stuck. Okay. Okay. There's nothing I won't eat at a sushi restaurant, like shrimp. I love when it's tempura I love eel. Spi Sometimes the spicy rolls I'm a little weary of. Just because I think sushi's so good in general that I'm like, do I need the spice to add to it? Like, honestly, not gonna lie, I think it's perfect. We want a rectangle. I will say it's kind of crumbling a bit. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So we don't have a lot of icing. But you guys can learn from me. I'll make the mistake so you don't have to. We're not sacrificing taste. We are just sacrificing the looks. This is so oddly satisfying. It's just not gonna roll. Or in dry. It's crumbling. We are gonna put it in the fridge first so it gets harder. I think that's our only hope. I like an Oreo Pop-Tart. <laughs> that's a good idea and we can fill it with peanut butter in the middle. Pop-Tart's a good idea. In it. Like so. Mm. Oh, hold on. Watch this. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, here we go. It's literally perfect. Yum, yum. Not to give us trouble. Beautiful. All right, numero one. Wow. We went from sushi Oreos to sushi Pop-Tarts drizzled with peanut butter in the middle. Debatably better. I'm gonna freeze them now for an hour, but honestly, we're gonna go shopping in the middle. If I'm gone for five hours, it's fine. It, they, can, they can hang. He gave me a present a day, and the rule was I had to use it by that day. It was like lingerie, vibrant, things like that. I was like, are these gifts for me or are they for you? But I was thinking for Valentine's Day, I'm gonna do the seven days leading up to Valentine's Day, and I'm gonna give him presents that he has to use, but I do wanna go to a sex store and get him like one thing he would use, but just one thing. There's these companies where you can rent bags, designer bags. There's some in New York, they're popping up everywhere. I went to one because I was gonna get a membership there, and I was like, great, I can, use, I can use the bags interchangeably. Something about it didn't feel right. I still can't put it into words entirely what it is, I think what it was is it's like you're gonna pay $100 a month to get two designer bags and you can change them monthly. It made me question the reason why do you want a designer bag then? To show you have one? I was carrying the bag that I bought and the girl said, she was like, oh, do you wanna return that one? And I was like, well, this one's mine. And she's like, oh, we have that one. And I was like, oh. And it made it feel like less special or something. I worked for this and then to get it, is such a better feeling, better feeling for me. So that makes this moment feel all the more special and the bag feel like it's mine and that I earned it. Just bury me with that bag. White. 
the white one. Realistically, I'll probably, I guarantee you right now, I'll walk around, I'll toy with things in my head. I bet I end up with that guy right there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, David left his phone in the Uber, but we got it back. I didn't like any of the bags of Valentino. They were like, not the right size. They just weren't perfect. Okay, so now we're going to Bloomingdale's because sometimes there's department stores, they give you everything you need in one setting. I will say this, if I actually come home with a bag, Graham will be shocked. This isn't the floor we want, okay. I don't think. Plan C, plan F is, <laughs> so I called Graham. I was like, I'm having a really hard time getting this bag without you. So we're gonna go get his Valentine's Day present and then meet him at the apartment and go to the Upper East Side to get the bag. Teasers and stuff there, lube, or a lot of people, honestly, because it's the- We got three things for Graham. Lucky boy. He's gonna hate them. I mean, he is gonna be like, what on earth? And then one of them is gonna be this little guy, little man thong. Style and confidence. Wear what matters most. I've just realized that there are sizes and I've gotten him a small medium. Graham is 6'6". Six, six. That will be fun for him. These are dice. This will actually be fun and he'll enjoy them. Yeah, he'll like that. You roll them, so it gives you your position. And then the third one, guys might not know, these are pasties that girls wear. Sometimes I wear them out as like a bra. If I'm wearing like a top, I'll just, you just wear like these little pasties. And I thought it would be fun for him to get a little window into what it's like to be a girl. So I got him the Hustler Star pasties to wear. I realize the best place to solicit advice is the internet. So if you guys have any other suggestions, I have two more days left and I need help. Just a Wow. Now they're Pop-Tarts. You can tell. Really good. Right? Yeah. What's inside? You can see the peanut butter. <laughs> oh, my yeah. oh my gosh. It's supposed to be an Oreo. Let me show you mm. a photo. But like they have, that's so thick. There's no, you couldn't even roll it for one second. Ready to go. Things are better if he comes. <laughs> okay, strike out. Um, I don't know. It's so funny when you're like, I want to buy a purse. There's no purses. I can't get excited about a bag that's so expensive that's white that I'm freaking out about my hands having bronzer on them. Can't do it. That's actually very pretty, huh? I do think this is very, something about that is oh, very cool. I like this, but it's so expensive. Thank you, you're the best. This is cute. It's actually cool, it's cool like this. Usually I don't like them like that. It's adorable. It's perfect. This is the winner. I love him. What sold me, I was like maybe gonna get it, like probably gonna get it, and then he did that thing with the thing, and I was like, done. Yeah. Noe. Noe? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That would be your name. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Just, Just Alex. Alex Bennett. On all, you know, nice girl. That's a beautiful box. <laughs> wow. Wow. I love it. Thank you. He was awesome. I'm so excited. I love it. I wasn't going to go to dinner, but I might go to dinner just so I can carry it. And you always know I've bought like two bags in my life, but you know you bought the right ones. You're really excited about it.